everybody, welcome to Punch Drunk Entertainment. You got your guys here with your Mr. Swag, no Aggie. And I'm just Dan. We are back with another reaction video. Another episode of Death Battle. We got two anime versus anime. Yes. We got Jonathan Joestar. Versus Tanjiro. Yes, sir. Demon Slayer, Slayer. versus Jojo. Yes. yes. So you got old school versus new school. And the one thing I got to say about Demon Slayer, they are part of the, the new wave. The great new wave. Yeah. But JoJo's also still going. I was just looking up their anime where they are out of the non story arcs in the manga. They got a lot left to do. Hey, man. We're going to see. We're going to check out Jonathan Joestar. And if I'm not mistaken, he's the predecessor. He's the first. Not the so, first the first in the family, but the first but, JoJo, pretty much. Yeah. yeah. So we're going to check it out, man. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, comment, thumbs up. Tell us who you got winning. What's your early predictions? Let us know. Yes, sir. Get into it. Tanjiro Kamado, the sun-breathing demon slayer swordsman. Jonathan Joestar, the very first Jojo who ever joged. <laughs> These two anime monster hunters are as deadly with a blade as they are infinitely good-natured. But don't cross them, else they might leave you breathless. He's Wiz and I'm Boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. Let's go. Daisho Japan, an era of unparalleled progress and imperial domination. But this empire had a sickness, a rot at its core. Demons. Demons. This race of superhuman cannibals originated from one being, their all-powerful progenitor, Muzan Kibutsuji. Who spent his evenings slaughtering families oh. and eating them, including the Kamado clan. Though one of them fatefully Damn. survived. The eldest son, Danjiro. How many animes is a character coming home and his family just murdered? My gosh. <laughs> like, let's make an anime. How do we make it good? <laughs> Kill the family. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let the boy watch. Let the boy watch. <laughs> there you go. Here's some but, of the quick feats. 5-5, five, five, 134, 15. Oh, yeah. Is the nickname. Remember the Demon Slayer course? Certified group mom in cinnamon roll? Okay. All right. The good news is your sister Nezuko is alive too. Bad news is she's a demon, a demon. now. Yeah. So sorry, champ. I'm chucking this day up as an L. But Tanjiro possessed the golden heart of an anime protagonist, and he devoted his life <laughs> Pretty to much. curing Nezuko's curse and ending Muzan's evil once and for all. So he joined the Demon Slayer Corps, a secret group of badass demon hunters with badass swords forged from a unique sunlight-absorbing ore. The Nichiren Blade is one of the only weapons that can decapitate a demon and end their unholy existence Ooh. for good. Especially when combined with the Slayer's fancy pants katana magic. It isn't katana magic. Okay, well, it's totally katana magic, but that's not what it's called. Yeah, it's breathing. Because he got a new school anime. So I love the animation. Do that. Yes. <gasps> love it. <laughs> oh, God. Some of it would be a little bit too cartoony. <laughs> like, breathing is crucial. But, but it adds to that anime. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I like the way it adds into it. Organs blow the diaphragm, relaxing your body and lowering its energy requirement while simultaneously giving you more energy to use. Tanjiro mastered this breathing shit so well, he could do it in his sleep. Literally 24-7. This is total concentration breathing, a technique developed by the Demon Slayers in order to massively increase their physical abilities to match their blatantly superhuman foes. Okay. Through the measured Let's intake of oxygen, users can boost their concentration, reactions, and even manipulate the flow of their blood. This can I like, you know what? Down poisons or speed. I like that. You know, you have all these other anime that you does like, uh, what's they call it? Can, hmm, excuse me and other type of magic ways mm -hmm. this is more it's a little more grounded right, right with their powers and everything just taking something that's actually real and everything your breathing techniques to push out more energy yeah to do your move so that's oh, different uh, also sword magic <laughs> I mean, he should have fought inuyasha another sword slinging ooh. demon killer he probably would if he'd say he decapitates demons <laughs> he'll kill hey, inuyasha. Man. <laughs> inuyasha ain't no joke <laughs> death battle Rock with us. Heating up the coagulation of wounds. Which means he can use it to quickly recover in case of injury or fatigue. And demon slayers can combine their breathing with their blades for, well, 
Katana magic! Each breathing style is a go. separate form of sword combat. The first form Tanjiro mastered was water breathing, a flexible defensive style where a user's blade summons water to slice like a raging current. Ooh. Tanjiro's literal boneheaded stubbornness made him a prodigy demon slayer in no time. He proved to be a tactical genius in combat, able to discern an opponent's weaknesses and exploit them in the heat of the moment. Okay, it was I like almost that. as like if that. demon slaying was in his very blood. Because it was! Hundreds of years ago, the creator of the very first breathing style taught this knowledge to Tanjiro's ancestors, who passed it down to Tanjiro himself. This was the Dance of the Fire God, the Hinokami Kagura Sun Breathing. With Sun Breathing, Tanjiro's sword bursts into godlike flames that slow a demon's healing factor. Ooh, I don't like that overuse weakens the user. Fire dragon. It's gonna come into play. Yes, it is. Tanjiro's speed and power. But at a cost, it will quickly tire him out, and overuse could severely debilitate him. Which can also turn on this really distracting birthmark on his forehead. Through intense stress and exertion, Tanjo hmm. can activate this Demon Slayer mark, which boosts his already crazy strength and speed even further. And gives him access to the see-through world. Basically, it slows down time for Tanjiro and gives him x-ray vision. This allows okay, okay. him such a precise understanding of his opponent's muscle movements that he can predict their future actions. Sort of like a spider sense. He can even do the same with just his sense of smell. No Demon Slayer mark needed. Not only can his nose detect people from hundreds of yards away, it lets him find an opponent's opening in battle even easier than before. You'd think being an anime swordsman would make Tanjiro even edgier than his blade, but he's basically the group mom with an innocent little cherub <laughs> Weakness matched only by his raw badassery. Tanjiro is tough enough to survive being stabbed in the stomach, fast enough to dodge lightning, and strong enough to slice through and derail a literal demon train. That demon mm. turned himself into a train, Wiz! Funniest shit I've ever seen. And this demon, Doma, was able to freeze the air into this giant ice statue in only a few seconds. That takes a lot of energy. And Tanjiro's okay. managed to keep up with similarly powerful demons like Hantengu, Akaza, and eventually the strongest of them all, Muzan himself. With the help of his friends, of course. It would take all their efforts and countless sacrifices. Him? But Tanjiro <laughs> and the demon slayers would That's continue what it like. fight to realize their dream of a world that is safe for humanity. And whatever Inosuke is. <laughs> that was quick. Yeah, Victorian England! An infamously shit-tastic time to be alive! Whether you oh, God. a street rat or a wealthy noble. Okay, well, that last one probably wasn't so bad. That is, unless your dad, in all his infinite wisdom, decided to adopt the single greatest asshole in human history and make <laughs> yep. him your brother. Yo. That'd make you one Oh, God, no. <laughs> That would make you Jonathan Joestar. Hadn't you heard, Wiz? Everybody just calls him JoJo. In an effort to take the Joestar fortune for himself, Jonathan's new brother, Dio, dedicated his life to breaking Jonathan emotionally, turning him into <laughs> a docile puppet in Jonathan's heart. The raging fire of a gentleman. I don't think beating the living piss out of Dio was gentle, but it sure was satisfying. Too bad mm. it didn't last forever. It because Dio only took a his few body. years later, yep. Dio got his revenge when he turned into a vampire and killed Papa Joestar. <laughs> Classic yeah. Dio. With Dio now bent on world domination, Jonathan would need more than his righteous fist to save the day. Yeah, he needed a creepy floating Italian man that punches frogs. <laughs> the power of the what? Sun. It wasn't just any <laughs> creepy floating Italian man. It was Will Antonio Zeppelin, a practitioner of Haman, an ancient martial art designed specifically to do battle against vampires like Dio. Through their okay. breaths, Hamon users can blast a hot electric ripple out of their bodies and flood it into their opponents. Huh. That's what Hamon means in English. The ripple. Mm. Man, if I had a nickel for every anime protagonist who killed monsters with the power of breathing, well, that'd be two <laughs> nickels. But let's agree, it's weird that it happened twice. Hamon energy massively increases a user's physical abilities and allows Boom them punching. to disintegrate Water vampires with a single punch. In order to fight Dio, Zeppli taught Jonathan everything he knew. Like the okay. zoom punch, where Jonathan stretches his arm and punches an opponent from far away like he jumped on a gum gum fruit. He does this by using <laughs> the ripple to dull the pain of dislocating his shoulder before snapping it back. That might sound crazy, but there are real life examples of breathing basically giving people superpowers. Like the Dutch adventurer Wim Hof, who can survive being nearly totally submerged in ice water for almost two hours. 
Through forced what? exhalation, Huff drops his oxygen levels in order to supercharge his body's thermoregulation and release euphoric chemicals to numb the pain. Just like the Zoom Punch. Smart is basically just like the Eastern idea of chi. Voila! Which is circulated through the body by, what else? Breathing. And okay. just like Chi, he could do lots of crazy shit. Like walking on water, magnetizing plants, or controlling an enemy's muscles. It can even be transferred through solid surfaces like metal. And he can catch his fists on fire and slam you senseless with his patented sunlight yellow overdrive. It'll leave any monster smiling and satisfied. Uh -huh. <laughs> Jonathan took these skills as he, Zeppeli, and the definitely not just there for exposition Speedwagon invaded Dio's domain and waged war against an army of bloodthirsty zombies. Including Dio's right-hand monsters, Bruford and Tarkas. Tarkas was strong enough to rip entire boulders out of the ground <laughs> and slice through a cliff with one swing. He could even snap okay. Jojo's neck and cut our old pal Zeppeli in half. Uh, rest in peace, creepy floating Italian <laughs> man. Sorry you had to be born the mentor. Hope none of your relatives die horrifying death too. Before succumbing, mm. Zeppeli's last act was to pass his ripple onto Jonathan, not only allowing him to heal his own broken neck, but also combine their energies together. And making Jojo strong enough to cut through Tarkus's giant arm. Not with his nifty new sword, Pluck. With his bare goddamn hand. With this power boost, uh -huh. Jonathan faced Dio once and for all and fisted him with his raging hot <laughs> ripple. Wait. Now, fisted Dio was pretty impressive, considering Dio could later fight faster than light stands like Star Platinum. Hell, even other Ripple users like Joseph can dodge beams of light too. But more than his strength or speed or even Haman, Jonathan's greatest strength was always his Already Joestar is faster and stronger than yeah, uh, that's that's right. that yeah. Yeah. This, this might be going to Joestar, y'all. <laughs> all those years ago, and the same one that defeated him again. I don't but see any weaknesses yet. Was bittersweet. He may be built like a brick shit house, but Jonathan's got the personality of a golden retriever. Even after everything Dio did to him, all of the lies and abuse and dad murder, Jonathan still loved him like a brother and still cried those hot, wet 80s man made tears. And even after <laughs> Dio returned on Jonathan's wedding night to murder him and steal his body, Jonathan sacrificed himself so his wife and unborn child could escape. But he did not die in vain. His bloodline would continue throughout the ages, spawning a line of illustrious and bizarre heroes who would crush Dio's go. plans and save the universe. And they all had one thing in common: his name, Jojo. Jojo. Wait, they're all the nicknamed Jojo. Yep. Oh, they hate when he do that. All, all right, man. We got. I, I think. Uh I'm going. I'm going. Go star, man. Yeah. It seems. I want. I wanted to be Flash. They say Tanjiro, new anime. I don't see it. I don't uh, see it. And and the only thing, you do have a sword versus hand in hand. Hopefully Tanjiro doesn't you lose that sword. Is that's yeah. his ass? Yes, it is. <laughs> Well, let's get right into it. We've run the data through all possibilities. It's time for a death battle! Okay. The purple skies. Step aside! I've sworn to slay all of Dio's demonic minions. I don't know who you are, but you better leave her alone. You poor wretch. Shackled by the chains of this harpy's insidious mind control on my honor as a gentleman, I will free you! <laughs> oh, uh, I'm sorry, sir. Did you bump your head? Mm. Yeah, I think Tandro got the sword fighting stuff, but yes. hand to hand. He's gonna, he's gonna turn the tide. Jojo's gonna turn the tide. You fight with valor, noble swordsman, but I know the burning passion of my heart will carry me through. Oh, he's kind of adorable, <laughs> like a puppy. I wonder if he has a caretaker nearby. You're mine. <laughs> Valiant footwork. Ooh. Smith, forget a sword. No, 
This man's throwing trees at this man. animation of this one. Yeah. This breathing is carrying some kind of energy. Like me. And that uh -oh. means I know how to stop him. Uh -oh. Again, he said he can't use this form for long. Yep. Does he know that metal silver? Yeah. Right, but he do get senses. He do get his senses. This might have been wrong, y'all. What? He gonna, he gonna tie her out, man. You better get it done. Not the lungs. Woo! Wow! Wow! No, he wasn't. Yellow! <laughs> his ass! Oh, broke his jaw! She's my sister. <laughs> On my honor, as a gentleman. Would it be Jojo without tears? With yep. <laughs> Thank you. Fight. I'm only crying really hard. Holy <laughs> shit, hold me, bro. Please don't touch me. On paper, Tanjo did initially seem to have more advantages in this bout. Uh, for sure. He'd been training for way longer than Jonathan Eww. and with way more experienced teachers. Tanjiro's Demon Slayer journey took place over a couple of years, while Jonathan's Ripple training was less than a month. Tanjo <laughs> was obviously a superior swordsman with a variety of powerful techniques and katana magic. Well, Jonathan really only More plot. improvised as a swordsman. But that's where though. the advantage is <laughs> stunned. Sure, Jonathan wasn't a natural swordsman, but he more than made up for it in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Well, Tanjiro was pretty much out of options without a blade. Jonathan also had an edge in yep. strength. Comparing Tanjiro to Doma and Jojo to Tarkus, Jonathan was over twice as strong. And while Tanjiro later fought the more powerful Muzan, Jonathan did the same with Dio. He was way faster too. While Tanjiro and his pals could dodge lightning, we can compare Jonathan to other Ripple users like Joseph who could dodge light, which is over 3,000 times faster. That might seem crazy, but in part three, Dio was able to keep up with stands like Star Platinum, which can move faster than light. Dio did this on his own, and that was wild using Jonathan's body. Even with multiple ways to predict Jonathan's movements and see the flow of his ripple with x-ray vision, Tandro would not have been fast enough to keep up. Especially with mm. the ripple backing him up. Sure, the water and fire Tanjiro generates is impressive, but Jonathan was tough enough to power through it. Tanjiro, though, had no way to defend against the ripple bypassing his durability and directly messing with his organs. Such as manipulating his muscles like a puppeteer or directly shutting off his brain or heart. Something other ripple users have done to ordinary humans with a single zap. And Jonathan mm. had the opportunity to do this literally every time Tanjiro blocked his blade. Sure, Tanjiro could recover himself with a breath, but that'd be a breath Ooh, spent healing that. and not, you know, fighting. And while sun oh, breathing overuse was dangerous to Tanjiro, <laughs> Jojo's yeah. Hawan had no the, the such sun breathing took his physical which toll. meant that Jojo uh, could keep fighting for as long as he needed to. Tanjiro was never going to go down easy. Is it Jonathan's speed to Jonathan had righteous uh, multiple possible insta-kill. <laughs> they could have took him out any time. Yep. The winner is Jonathan Joestar. Goodbye, Jojo. Jo no Jojo. Who we got? Stay tuned. We'll be jumping into ah, the next week. Can't wait. Week. But you can we're going back to comics. Right now, by clicking one of those boxes right over there, and by downloading the battle music. No more comics below. versus anime. Oh. Somebody to. Oh. <laughs> they want. People to argue. Yeah, that's on the yeah. same level as Superman versus Goku. Yes, it is. Yes, the fuck it is. And they got blue. 
Yeah. So it, it depends what version of Thor they're gonna use. It depends what version of Thor is gonna use. So it's, that's not an instant Vegeta win. As much as I love nah, Vegeta, nah, nah. it's not an instant. It's not instant. It depends on what version of Thor that they use. But for this one, like I said it was good. It was. Like, we kind of knew Jonathan Joe's side was definitely... That was almost the biggest one side, like, coming off the... Usually, we wait until they say both sides. Yeah. They didn't really have much for uh, Tanjiro. And, like, and I like Tanjiro. And I think somebody, like you said, any Asha, you know, another sword character like that, yeah. he would have had better hope. But Jonathan Joe's side, that was almost... Un it, was, it was unfair. Demon Slayer is still good, though. Not gonna shit on it. Yeah, this loss is not gonna tarnish the show at all. Nah. Let us know what y'all think. Who should have won that? Should Tanjiro have another opponent? opponent. Joe Star opponent. <laughs> should Joe Star had another opponent? Let us know. Yes, so with all that being said, we out of here. Click down below for the original video. Check out all our stuff. Hit us up or follow us on Twitch for fun, dope streams all throughout the week. Do some fighting games, some adventure games, multiplayer. Come through, hang out, chill out. Yes, so with all that being said, make memories, stay humble, live life, and breathe. Wagno Wagno. Get back, Jojo! <laughs>